Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here today with a tutorial for creating a darling Christmas card. Now this is the card we're going to make right here and isn't it just, I just think it's so darling. It's bright and cheery and what we're going to use to create this card today is first of all we're going to use the stamp set called Warm Hugs. This is in the August to December mini catalog by Stampin' Up! The August to December 2020 mini catalog. And this is the sentiment we're gonna use right here. Now you can find this stamp set on page, and all the other things that go with it, it's part of a huge suite, on page 10 of your catalog. And we're also going to use some beautiful designer series paper called Trimming the Town. It's actually maybe more than beautiful, it's fun. It's, this is page 24 to 25 of the same catalog. And these are the papers, we're gonna use some of these papers today. It's darling paper as far as it has houses and all kinds of things that you can cut out. It also comes with a stamp and die set. But today we're gonna to just use this pretty uh, designer series paper. So let's get started. We're going to start with a card base, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and we're just gonna get that a little uh, more burnished to make sure it really lays down nicely. Then we need a piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock, and this piece is five by three and three quarters. This is the piece we're going to use to line up our designer series paper strips. And here they are. I've already pre-cut them. I really love the wreath paper in, in this um, group of papers, trimming the town. And so I wanted to be sure to use a strip of that. And I've got the wreaths faced upward so their little bows are at the top. The strips are one inch by four and a half inches. And let me get it up here where you can see it. I'm going to um, just start gluing them down. And I'm just going to really eyeball it as far as um, hoping they come out right. But truthfully, you can just start over to the left. And then I do the right one. I'm trying to have it an equal distance from the top and from the bottom and the side. So those all appear to be pretty equal. And there's my first piece. Then I'm gonna put in my second piece and then I will um, put the center piece in and then it sh I can make sure it looks correct. This is just the way I do it. So I'm gonna put in this edge piece, again, trying to make sure it, it looks like it's right a pretty equal. It's just eyeballing. And now we're going to glue down the pretty wreath piece, the center piece. And I'm adhering these with multi-purpose glue so that I can move them around a little bit. So here's our center piece. Just want to move it just a tad bit so it looks like we knew what we were doing, huh? Isn't that cute? So bright. I really like it. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put some ribbon around this piece before we adhere it to the card base. I'm using Real Red Sheer Ribbon today because I really like the way it ties. And so we're gonna put it around the back of the Granny Apple Green piece like this. And I like to leave lots of long edges, long tails, so that I can, I have enough ribbon to do whatever I want to here. So I want it about three quarters of the way down the card, maybe two thirds. And I want my bow over here on this side. So I'm just going to tie my little bow. And I'm pulling it tight so that it's tight around, the, around this piece. And we can always adjust it later. There we go. There's our bow. Now we want to adjust it so it's smaller because we're going to have our sentiment over here. So I'm going to pull it tight and then begin the, 
the adjusting part because I want the little loops to be smaller. Let's see how we can get this. There we go, that looks a little better. It takes a minute to get the bow, because I want the bow just so on this particular card, maybe the little edge will have to go up. Okay, let's just trim it right there and see if it doesn't work out. Okay, that turned out nicely. Now we're ready to put this card on our card base, this uh, piece of Granny Apple Green. And you could put it up on dimensionals. I am going to glue it because we're going to put the sentiment on dimensionals. But it's completely up to you. And again, this piece is cut at 3 and 3 quarters by 5. That means it leaves a nice frame of white around it. I, I like that frame. And we just press down. Isn't that pretty? Those That granny apple green is just so bright. I just love it. Now we're going to create our sentiment. And for our sentiment, we want a little strip of Whisper White cardstock, 3 quarters by 2 and a half. And I'm going to use the sentiment that I showed you um, from our Warm Hug stamp set. I'm going to use some real red ink. And this is a photopolymer stamp. You might want some padding under there. I have padding right here. This is a padded uh, desk pad underneath. So I'm just going, I think it's going to come out right. I'm going to press down. I really like that sentiment. I like the two different fonts. I think it's really nice. So now what we're going to want to do is put our sentiment over the ribbon right there. And I'm going to trim this sentiment up a little bit um, so it fits nicely. And I'm not doing it in any scientific way. I'm just kind of looking at how far it is, the last letter is from the edge, and I'm going to try to get the same over here. Okay, so there's our sentiment. And now we're going to want to raise that up on dimensionals. And actually, I think I'm going to use mini dimensionals. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I want the sentiment to be lifted up off the paper, not the ribbon. So I'm going to put some dimensionals, a couple of them on the top and a couple on the bottom of the strip. So that they adhere actually to the paper. Maybe I'll just do three like that and we'll see how that works out. Because if you adhere it to the paper, to the ribbon, um, it kind of tends to flop around. It doesn't remain secure like you would want it to. So we're going to hold that over our ribbon and press down on our dimensionals. And let's, yeah, that is pretty. Now this side, yeah. They all, they all adhered really nicely. So now we're going to give it a little bling with a little tiny red rhinestone. Just enough to just add a little dot of bling. And there is our card. Isn't that cute? And of course we can't forget our envelope. I'm going to stamp my envelope with the same sentiment that we used on the front of the card, the So Very Merry. And we're just gonna put it right down here in the lower left corner, just like that. That kind of tells the recipient that it's a Christmas card, right? a holiday card. So there is your adorable uh, Christmas card using the Warm Hug stamp set and the Trimming the Town Designer Series paper, but you can use any paper and any stamp set to with this design. And I forgot to mention, this design is actually from my upline, Mary Fish. This is one of her designs, and I thought it was so cute. I wanted um, to show it to you. So thank you so much for stopping by today. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd do that. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.